Mrs. McGeehy, trustees, colleagues, parents, students, thank you. I am honored and humbled to be here offering advice to the very special class of 2023. As an additional means of introduction, to my colleagues, I'm Laura. To the students, I'm Mrs. Moan. To the athletes, I'm Coach Moan. To some, Mrs. or Coach really seems to be a burden to say. So to them, I'm simply Moan. And to one graduate, I'm Mom. Parents, I'm going to start by sharing some thoughts with you today. This is pretty great, isn't it? They really are just beautiful young adults today. Congratulations for raising such terrific daughters. Over their 18 years, we've all celebrated the milestones that have made us so proud to be their parents. From their first steps to tying their shoes, from spelling bees to getting a driver's license, from being admitted to Foxcroft to being admitted to college. With graduations from preschool, elementary, middle school, and now today. If you're at all like me, you shed a tear or two at these milestones. And perhaps, like me, your daughter caught you, scowled, rolled her eyes, and questioned, are you crying? <laughs> to which you replied, no, my allergies are so bad this time of year. Well, please bear with me if my allergies act up today as I think about this group leaving Foxcroft. Danny Borer, I know you've got bad allergies too back there. <clears throat> Seniors, to say you're a special class to me is a huge understatement. From having a group of you as freshman advisees, to coaching a lot of you in varsity and JV sports, to getting the chance to, chance to help all of you, even if just for a short time this year, plan for your future after Foxcroft, I've thoroughly enjoyed watching you grow into the students, leaders, athletes, and people you are today. When I think about offering advice to you all, it's really not so different from a pregame talk that a coach would deliver to a team. Today is very much a game day for graduates. Happy game day, seniors. And I'm going to put on my coaching hat for today's pregame talk. On the lacrosse team this year, our theme was focus. We focused on the small details that can make a big difference, as well as focusing on long-term goals. Focus is a really good theme and can apply to all aspects of life. For each pregame during the season, we created a different acrostic where you use each letter to start a new phrase or thought. F for fundamentals, O for offense, C, catch the ball. You get the picture. We'll do the same today. So seniors, as you prepare for your future, your life away from Foxcroft, please try to focus on the following. F is your friendships. The friendships you've made at Foxcroft may very well be some of the strongest you will ever have. Of course, you'll miss waking up on the sleeping porch with your friends, going to every meal together, playing sports together, and hanging out in the dorm lounges. These are the places where your friendships were formed and solidified. While you will disperse in just a few hours to go all over the world, stay connected to each other. Distance can't erase the strong bonds that have been forming every day and night over the past four years. By spending these formative years living together, your friendships take on more of a family feel, and no time or distance apart will ever change these relationships. Also stay connected to Foxcroft. We saw a couple weeks ago how meaningful the traditions of clubs, including Foxhound, are to you. Passing down leadership positions was emotional as your tenure as club heads and officers came to an end and the next group of student leaders took over. Your collective impact was profound. You led well with enthusiasm, integrity, and embraced the friends to the end philosophy. As the only grade to have experienced real Foxhound events, you brought the traditions back to pre-COVID times, educating the rest of the student body on how to keep traditions alive and strong for years to come. 
We know how important Foxcroft is to you, and we're excited for you to stay engaged. Know that you'll always have a life in old Virginia. Oh, I'm going to request a little audience participation for this one. At the start of each morning meeting, our vice head of school, Sneha, asks the group the same question, and we get the same answer in unison, thanks to Steve McCarty. Sneha has agreed to help me today. Uh, so faculty and students, please join along with Sneha. Sneha. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Outstanding. O is outstanding. Choose to be outstanding. One wise senior told a story this spring. She said, a year ago, when people asked me how I was, I always answered, I'm so tired. This answer brought me down and brought others down as they agreed that they too were so tired. This year I changed my answer to great and I feel so much better. I was really tired last year and I still am, but that doesn't have to be the feeling I choose to share with others. When someone asks how you're doing, the simple act of changing your answer from I'm good or I'm so tired to outstanding is one way of actively choosing to be positive. Positivity is a choice. You can choose to go through your life complaining about how hard or unfair things are, pining over the things you wish you had, or you can have an attitude of gratitude and choose to be positive. Adopting a half glass full mentality not only helps to boost your own outlook, but also lifts up those around you. Find the good, find the outstanding in people, in situations, in yourself, and share it with the world. A positive attitude is contagious. Choose to be positive in your interactions. Choose to be outstanding. C is challenge. Challenge yourself to be the best you can be. Challenge yourself by trying new things. Challenge yourself by facing fears, like tackling the unknown. Challenge yourself to identify your own strengths and then work hard to make them even stronger. Challenge yourself by living with honesty, integrity, and being true to your values. Challenge yourself by stepping out of your comfort zone. The comfort zone is easy, it's predictable, and it's limiting. You might have to take some risks to push out of your comfort zone, but the opportunities for personal growth will be well worth it. Challenge yourself to be the best version of you that you can possibly be. Also challenge the status quo. This isn't always a popular thought and it's not easy to do. But we had a great lesson from Dr. Sylvia Earle this spring. Dr. Earle has challenged the status quo of women being scientists since the 1970s, as she was the first woman on expeditions and research projects time and time again. She has challenged the status quo by identifying opportunities and finding solutions. She has fought for the oceans. She has fought for women in science and she has fought for many generations of women, including us. She does so in an intelligent, professional way, which is a great lesson for all of us, especially those of you considering a future in male-dominated fields. As Dr. Earle said, when people say, you can't do that for whatever reason, you're a girl or you're too young, don't let anybody steal your dreams, whatever your dreams are. On to you, you is unique. Seniors, you are a class of individuals with unique backgrounds, personalities, talents, passions, and strengths. You represent seven different countries, sharing cultures, languages, and customs with each other. You represent five different EP sports, including the first synchronized ice skater, and the first race car driver at Foxcroft. You are intending to study over 35 different majors in college. 
You have logged countless hours of community service on campus, in the Middleburg area, and your own communities, including churches, youth organizations, and the Girl Scouts. You are leaders, you are thespians, you are scientists, you are poets, you are athletes, you are filmmakers. The list goes on and on. I can't wait for your 10th reunion to see what you each have become. Lean into your passions and these characteristics that make you unique. It can be scary to be different, but it's most important to be true to who you are. Have confidence as you unapologetically share your uniqueness with the world. S is success. If you focus on your friendships and staying connected, focus on being outstanding, focus on challenging yourself, focus on being unique, you will ultimately attain success. Success can look different for all of us. Some will find success in a high GPA or the number of degrees they've earned. Some will find success in winning awards, getting job titles, earning fame and fortune. And some will find success by following their passions and loving what they do. As you follow your own path to success, don't allow yourself to get derailed by others' dreams and goals. Stay true to who you are, follow your passions, and own your strengths. Stay focused. Class of 2023, we are really proud of you. Happy game day.